ain't me, no. This that fuego right here. Hey guys, it's your girl Janetta back again with another video. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. While you're here, you might as well go ahead and click that subscribe button. Costs you nothing, but means a lot to me. If you guys are returning, welcome back guys. So what am I doing today? I am creating a new growth oil. So you guys are gonna go on this journey with me because this is a product that I have not made yet. So what am I using? A whole lot of stuff. Okay, so in here, let me explain this. These are fenugreek seeds. And these have been in, I think this is castor oil. Let me smell it. Hold on, before I tell y'all the wrong thing. Well, I can't tell now because it just smells like fenugreek. But I'm pretty sure it was castor oil um, from another product I had made and this is what was left over so I decided well I can't put it in the container that I was using because it was going to overflow and I'm not going to get rid of it because it's still usable so it's literally been sitting here infusing girls I don't even know for a few months I guess so it should be super potent and I am going to just strain this into the new product that I'm going to make the base of oils that I'm going to use is organic virgin coconut oil unrefined guys that's what you need that's going to be the base and then I have some fenugreek powder saw palmetto extract horsetail dried herb organic nettle leaf and herbal hair oil mix I'm not sure about this but it's supposed to have a lot of good stuff in it let's see does it tell me yes I'm not about to read all this stuff so if you can see it boom there you go if not you can just look it up and see the ingredients for yourself or I will explain it later but it looks like it has a lot of good stuff in here oh it actually has fenugreek in it and neem seeds cool very cool very cool all right so this is gonna be a great product all right as far as um, extra oils that I'm using I kind of just like came up with this off the top of my head and some of this stuff I've recently bought so I haven't even had a chance to try yet guys I'm so excited about this so I got some aloe vera oil you see that yeah girl. I got some carrot seed oil argan oil I'm not really sure about this one I kind of just grabbed this at the last minute but People seem to love it. I don't know. I'm still not sure. Avocado oil. And then as far as the, those are just the, the carrier oils. Now as far as the essential oils. Gotta have the lavender. You guys know I pretty much love using the lavender essential oils for its many benefits. Also rosemary. And... Just a little bit of eucalyptus. I'm not going to put a lot in there, but eucalyptus will help open up the scalp and really get your hair growing. So let's get this thing started. All right. So here's my clean jar. I'm going to use my little, it's so cute, my little strainer here to get this oil out. Oh, I'm going to have to use a spoon or really. It's not a lot, but whatever is in here is super, super potent. And I use fenugreek in um, my henna oil that I make, which is really good for hair growth, too. So get out of there. Don't want to go grab another spoon. Come on, let's go. I know. 
it would have been way easier if I just would have went and grabbed a spoon, but your girl be lazy sometimes, so boom. Okay, I just want to make sure. Okay, that's good. Got the oil out. Alright, not entirely sure why I have this uh, measuring cup here because I don't know that I need it. I'm just going to move this over here. Boom. Alright, so this is what I got out of there. Alright, so I'm going to come back because I have not opened none of this stuff. If you can see, all this stuff is brand new. So this is the oil that I've been wanting to make for a while now. And um, I've just had so much stuff going on. So let's get going here. I'm not going to actually really measure anything. Like I said, this is a a new product it's always trial and error and it's always um i kind of just wing it first yeah i'm gonna come back after i open up all this stuff you guys don't got time for that okay i'm glad i cut the camera and you guys should be glad too because i was like over here spazzing your girl was about to lose it okay here we go Benegree, I can't explain what that smells like to you. It just has its own smell. This is a tablespoon, measuring spoon, because it's the biggest one I've got. But I'm really, really not about to try to really measure it. So we just gonna do what I think I should do. And if I need to fix it later, change it up a little bit, I will. So that's that. And then the saw palmetto. Hmm, it smells like a mixture of dirt and some like really bad taste in chocolate honestly um uh so yeah i don't know came with his own little scooper but come on man like i don't got time for that that's too small so we just gonna keep rocking with the tablespoon put some of this in there oh it's gonna smell crazy crazy I ain't gonna overdo it because this stuff ain't cheap, guys. All right. And then, and then, horse herb. It looks and smells like grass. Like, it actually does smell like tea, but it actually kind of smells like a horse. Not in a bad way. I mean, I don't know if you guys ever been on a horse or anything, rode a horse, but, uh, yeah. So we just gonna put, I don't know, whatever in there. Yeah. Oof, that kind of smells the same. gonna put like three spoonfuls of each thing I guess because why not and then this one all right I ain't gonna be mean guys I'm gonna tell you what's in here Veveteer if I say it wrong sue me I don't care Vetiver root, licorice root, hibiscus flowers, curry leaves, rose petals, senna flowers, I'm not sure about that, but okay, Spanish cherry flower, screw tree pods, okay, sweet flag, dried amla berry, myrobalan, black cumin seeds, fenugreek seeds, alkanet, white turmeric, bachi seeds, neem seeds, and henna seeds. So, um, yeah, if I said any of that wrong, I don't really care. Okay, and this is what it looks like. Nice, nice, nice. And it came with two in there. That's pretty dope. So, and they're resealable, so they stay fresh. Right? All right. 
something else to open. This better not give me a higher time like that vinegar powder. On my nerves. I'm trying not to chip my nails. Like, come on here. Okay. This looks like I should just pour some in there. That's what I'm gonna do. What I have learned in my natural hair care journey is that the natural stuff is best. Nature literally gives us everything that we need for our bodies, our health, our hair, whatever. Nature is the way to go. So, I'm going to just throw that all in there like that. I don't know what this little thing is. That's cool. It's cool. So, make sure one of those get in there. All right. I think we got some of everything in there. Okay, then what I'm going to do is go in with the coconut oil. And like I said, I'm not gonna measure, I'm just gonna cover all of this good stuff. Girl, you didn't open the coconut oil either. Be right back. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> so we're just gonna uh, pour with hopefully little to no spillage. Come on. Uh oh, got a little bit of the solids in there, but that's okay because it's not gonna matter with how we bring it all together. That's kind of come on, get in there. I don't want like too much solid in there though. Let's see, let's turn it over. All right, that's good, that's good, that's good. And it doesn't matter because coconut oil will melt at a high heat. And where I live, it gets triple digit weather. So I am not worried about the coconut oil melting down. If it's cold where you live or it gets colder or you're making this in a cold month, you probably want to go ahead and melt the coconut oil down. Now I'm going to add, I just for my sake, for when I go to actually um, make this again for market. Give me some kind of idea of how much of the other oils I need. So I'm gonna just do a tablespoon of avocado oil. Argan oil, we are not gonna go crazy with the argan oil. Like I said, I'm not even really sure. I like rarely use argan oil in my hair or hair products. I know it's great for your hair. Um, so I'm just throwing that in there for the people who like it. So it's gonna do like a teaspoon of that. Oh that, oh that, oh that. And then the aloe vera. Um, okay. It got a dropper top and a Dropper. I think I like this better, so let's just remove this part. I swear this stuff is determined to make me chip a nail today, and I'm really, really not feeling it. I have somewhere to go, and I'm not trying to mess up my nail, so let's just see if it works like this. Here we go. Oh my god, this is going to take all day. Yeah, I can't do that. have time for that okay like literally figuratively don't got time that's a weird kind of let's see what's out of here I feel like they put the dropper too far into the part you squeeze and I can't really squeeze it like I don't make no sense, but we just gonna keep going with what I can get in there. So, get some aloe vera oil. And I've never used aloe vera oil before, but I have, um, I always use aloe vera in like all of my products. Aloe vera gel, aloe vera juice. I think I made aloe vera oil before. Um, 
out of the fresh leaves. So it's gonna do that. How many was that? Like five little drops in there? I ain't keeping count. That and I know carrot seed oil is extremely great for hair growth. All of this stuff that I'm using, guys is good for hair growth and that is why i'm putting it all in here a lot of the products natural ingredients and stuff that you will use have like the same benefits to it um so trust and believe your girl and your girl's trying to help you out here so let's see how this smells it don't smell like carrots at all but you know we don't care Three, uh -oh. four, five, maybe one more. Six. Yeah. 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 Okay. Stop being silly. <sighs> Rosemary oil. Let's get that going. Maybe like 20 drops. The eucalyptus, I'm not going to put a lot because it is really strong. I don't want that to overpower the smell. And it just, it smells like, um, <laughs> Vicks Vapor Rub. <laughs> Alright, that's cool. That's cool. Don't overdo it. Okay, and lavender. Lavender, lavender. It's like my favorite. I don't know. I love lavender oil. It's like one of my favorite essential oils. So we're probably going to put about 30 drops in there. Don't quote me on it. If you want the exact drops, you could like try to count. <laughs> I, I don't know why you would want to do that, but okay. <laughs> All right. Now, this ain't going to work. I'm going to have to get a different um, spoon so I can stir that up good. Cause I got the powders down in the bottom and want to make sure we get everything incorporated. Earthing, earthing. I'm gonna stir that around. And um, if I need to add more coconut oil, I will, but it doesn't look like it. Everything is pretty much covered. Ooh, look at that funky color. <laughs> but it looks like natural, looks like earth, you know? That's what I like. I don't think you guys can see that good. Hold on. Alright. That's what you get kind of like uh, this dirt, dirt color, earthy color kind of thing. And so then what I'm going to do after I make sure it's all mixed up, let me look at the bottom. I still see some uh, fenugreek powder chunks, so we want to get that because we want everything infusing, everything infusing into our oil. And the way to get the best benefit out of this is to let it sit. Now, normally I will put this in like a cool, dark place, maybe for like a week or so. But I'm going to try something different this time. Um, I'm going to actually sit it in the sun and let it get kissed by the sun for a week or two before I strain it and see what I am left with. At that point, if I don't like how it smells, I may try to add a fragrance to it, but I don't think that I'm going to need to. And I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to use this. I don't know if it's going to be a pre-poo and then I wash it out. It's probably a few different ways that you can use this. So your girl going to brainstorm and I'm going to come up with some ways and I'm going to help you out. But, or as um, just a growth oil for like when I'm styling my hair or as kind of like a sealant or I don't think I would do this as a hot oil treatment. That just seems like a... A waste maybe I don't know we gonna see but so far I'm pretty excited I have not tried 
any of this stuff before any of these herbs um except the the fenugreek i've used but normally the seed so i'm excited to have the fenugreek powder because fenugreek's really hard and it's hard to um to really blend it at least for me and i have a ninja blender and it's like Chuh, girl please we not even about to touch that so i'm glad i have the powder so we got that i'm gonna add just like a tad bit more coconut oil because i can see like some of the stuff is actually not covered hold on see i can still see some of the um the bigger ingredients from the um, herbal hair oil mix so i'm put a little bit more coconut oil in there to make sure that i cover it completely i use a lot of coconut oil guys all right get in there thank you thank you thank you let me get that all Mm. I guess some of these things are just gonna flow. These look like little peanuts. I know they're not, but um, I'm sure they're from the nut family. So I think stuff is just kind of those little things aren't gonna go down in there. I'm just trying to show you what I'm doing without too much shaking. See the little pods? They look like little peanuts. Those things are floating. They won't stay down so I can put as much coconut oil as I want they still just gonna float to the top so we're good with that all right all of that out of the way you guys like my nail color let me know in the comments down below yay nay so excited about this oil you guys have no idea i've been wanting to make it for like ever so this is what i got it looks like i just went outside and played in my backyard and this is what i came up with like oh mommy look at what i made you yeah <laughs> okay so i'm going to sit this in the sun and for me my bathroom gets the most sun but i ain't taking y'all up there because my baby's sleeping i ain't trying to wake him up so i'm gonna put this in my windowsill and i'm gonna let it sit for at least a week i'm gonna say a week and i'm gonna see how it looks but maybe two i don't know yet because i think the longer i let it sit the more potent it's gonna get so i will check and see Okay, so it's been about two weeks. It's been exactly 15 days since I prepared the oil. I had it sitting in my windowsill and getting some good sunlight to help really release the properties and in the ingredients or release the properties of the ingredients. And uh, if you notice, it has some sediment in the bottom. So every couple days or when I will think about it, I would just take it and shake it up like this. And make sure everything is well incorporated. Um, and everything is still working together and not just sitting on the bottom, you know? So then I have my clean jar here and my mess strainer and I'm going just going to pour it out is it and hopefully I don't spill I don't know where my other wide mouth jars are but um yeah that actually will be better okay and this is what i'm left with and you can see there's still some sediment in the bottom but that's okay so i will come back with updates about um different ways i've used the oil and its effectiveness or not also i owe you guys a lymph check and i owe you an update on my castor oil and regrowing my edges so stay tuned for more to come until next time guys you already know bye so some quick tips 
in regards to reducing the amount of sediment, what you could do is actually strain this again another time, maybe using something else other than cheesecloth, like the nylon stocking, like I said, or you can wait and let it settle. But if you see, it's really no sediment on the side of the jar. See, I'm gonna turn it. It's not really any sediment, but you can just wait until everything kind of settles on the bottom and then you can take um, a syringe and kind of siphon it off like you can get the um, like the different injectables or maybe not that one but <laughs> like an injectable syringe or like a cooking syringe and you can kind of just like siphon it off the top um, I've done that before with other oils that have like the sediment on the bottom you can also do that so I just wanted to give you guys a couple of tips Okay, so it's been a few days since I strained the oil. And the very next day, I noticed that more sediment had collected on the bottom. And I haven't siphoned the oil off yet. But I just wanted you guys to see that there actually was a lot more sediment in there. Because now it's more like a green color instead of all of that brown. And you can see all of that at the bottom. So I'm going to siphon that off. And that is the actual oil. So I thought I was done. But I guess I wasn't until now. Alright guys. Bye.